Let's move on to this now. A KwaZulu-Natal father is on a crusade to get justice for his son who was run over by a municipal blue light vehicle. Nonduluwetu Nkabinde died instantly after he was struck by a baki, allegedly driven by a bodyguard attached to the Lundi municipality speaker. He was killed while practice, practicing for an upcoming physical fitness test. ENCA senior reporter Desantatia brings us those details. Tandalwetu and Gabinde took an afternoon jog on this road last Thursday. Although he was generally athletic, this run was for a special reason. And Gabinde was hoping to be accepted as a traffic officer and a fitness test was coming up. He was going to uh, Richards Bay to write his exam. He went there last the other Friday. So then uh, as he now went, came back, you see, like, he had to keep fit because now he was, like, waiting for them to call him for the, for the fitness test. So he, he had to push more on the road. But he was already doing roadworks. Not that he went and do it for the first time, no. The 20-year-old was struck by this Ulundi municipality vehicle that evening. And Gabinde was flung across the road and died at the scene. The next day, which was Friday, I was told that my son was killed by the speaker. The speaker is the one that was driving the car. I was told by the people who saw him entering that municipality premises driving the car. They say he got out of the car, he parked it somewhere that they don't normally park, park it. You see, he got out and he called his bodyguards so to create some cover up. Ulundi municipality speaker Senzo Butelezi has denied this allegation. I really don't know where that kind of uh, uh, in, uh, things came from because I was in the office. My bodyguard was the one who drove the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And also after the incident, uh, the, my bodyguard it went straight to the police station at Mashabatin. Uh, he said to me, uh, when he went there, um, uh, he, they said, I mean, uh, it's not within their jurisdiction. They're supposed to go straight to Emma Goodwin to report uh, the incident. Indeed, he, he, he went to Emma Goodwin to report the incident. The municipality says the bodyguard was traveling alone at the time. Actually, I was in the office preparing some assignment as I'm going now to Johannesburg and there is some course that I'm doing at VETS. So I was busy with an assignment. So I left some stuff at home, then I sent uh, my bodyguard to pick up uh, that uh, particular stuff at home. And then I got the call from my bodyguard saying, uh, uh, I mean, uh, along R66, he, he came across with an accident. Uh, he crashed a, a, a person there. Oh, and, and then I was so amazed to hear such uh, kind of things. Uh, that's all about, can I say about it. But Ngabinde's father is still furious. No arrest has been made. Because even that bodyguard who took the fall must be arrested because he fled the scene. So I'm really not happy. I don't know what to do for my son to to see justice. The police say the investigative process is detailed. Uh, I think in all culpable homicide cases, because it's not intentional, the person didn't intend to kill somebody, it was an accident, we need to investigate first before we arrest. And these investigations are lengthy. It's not just a matter of wrapping it up within a few days or a few hours. Uh, we'll have to wait for a lot of reports to come in from other outside uh, entities. Nika says the decision on whether to prosecute is only made by the senior public prosecutor afterward. Butelezi visited the family's home a day after the incident to pass his condolences. I need no money, I need no help from anyone. I will take whatever responsibilities that come with this. I will try my best. I've got a family, we've got families. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do to, to lay my son to rest peacefully. All I want is justice. No action has been taken against the bodyguard, but the Ulundi mayor has condemned the incident. Reckless driving uh, can never be taken very lightly. But uh, as the uh, speaker was saying, 
Uh, the MM, I'm sure, is busy uh, collecting uh, the, 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 the information from whoever is supposed to give him uh, uh, such information. And we will take it from there. And I hope that also law enforcement authorities will be given enough time to do their work. And Kapinde is adamant that the driver of the vehicle is being protected. Such things must be stopped, brother. We mustn't allow money or big positions to like to make things be, be swept under, under carpet. You think it's an abuse of power? Exactly, it's an abuse of power because now no one has been arrested. Police deny this. If you know that um, allegation is coming up, we really appeal to those people that have knowledge of this to please come forward. Um, even if they've seen the person driving the vehicle uh, previously and they suspect that it's possible that he was driving on that day, they need to come forward uh, with that because that takes it to a new, another new level, you know, it amounts to defeating ends of justice because now we have a person who says he's the driver but it's possibly another person. So that, that statement is very cru uh, critical to our investigation. And, and Kapinde is expected to be laid to rest on Friday. I'm Desan Tathia in Ulundi, KwaZulu-Natal.